welcome to my farmhouse. I'm Leanne and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. If that interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell to know each time I'm uploading a new video. Today we are participating in Noodle November, hosted by Kettle Kitchen. I'm glad to be a part of this collaboration. There is two videos each day for your viewing pleasure on a pasta dish, and it can't be a traditional lasagna or alfredo or spaghetti. There are so many great dishes out there. I'm gonna leave a link to the playlist down below for you to go discover all these wonderful channels that are participating, and hopefully you find a new channel to enjoy. And there's gonna be a live drawing on December 1st at seven Eastern Standard Time on Tony's channel, Kettle Kitchen. And if you wanna be commenting on this video and all the other great Noodle November videos to increase your chances of winning some prizes. And there's gonna be prizes at the live chat as well. So make sure you show up at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 1st at Kettle Kitchen. And today we are gonna be making a recipe that I just threw together one Sunday evening from my pantry because I didn't know what else to cook and I just wanted to eat from my stomach if he's if if that's possible like I just wanted some garlic and butter and sausage and peas and it reminds me of a dish that I used to get at Carrabba's it's called pasta wheezy it had peas and I think it was an alfredo sauce but you know I just love peas and pasta for some odd reason let's get to cooking shall we to make this dish, you're going to need some kind of sausage. I'm using beef smoked sausage tonight. I've done kibasa already. And we're going to use some peas, some portobello mushrooms, garlic powder, butter and flour, and butter and bouillon, the garlic base, linguine, thyme, dehydrated onions, a cup of water, and paprika and some cream cheese with shallots and chives. Pasta should always be cooked in salted water and it should be as salty as the sea. And since I've never had this salt water, I don't know how much salt to put in there. But a good two tablespoons. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. We cook our linguine. We're going to turn the stove on to medium high heat and we're going to spray it with olive oil just so nothing sticks to it. And we're just going to slice up the sausage. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter to the skillet to melt, add the sausage to get heated through. And once the butter is melted, we're gonna add our flour and we're gonna cook that for at least one minute. Then we're gonna to toss in the mushrooms to get them cooked down for at least five minutes. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the garlic base from Better and Bouillon to the cup of water to get it dissolved a while. I'm adding a little bit of the broth just to deglaze the pan a little bit so to keep everything from sticking to the pan. And using my wooden spoon just to make sure nothing is sticking and getting the flavor that has been caramelized on the bottom of the pan into the meat and the mushrooms as they continue to get warmed up and get cooked. I just need to add a little bit more garlic base to that 
just to prevent it from sticking. This meal does come together as quick as it takes you to boil that water and cook your pasta, which might take 20 minutes. It, it's a really quick and easy meal that doesn't require much effort except to heat things through. I'm taking two tablespoons of the dehydrated onions and I'm going to let them reconstitute in the garlic base just to get them a head start in being tender. The water is jumping like it's hot so we're going to add our linguine to the pot and cook it nine minutes. I learned from Michael Simon the Iron Chef to use your pasta water as a thickener for your pasta dish and it adds a little bit of flavor. The combination of the stock and the starch water and the roux, your, your sauce starts to develop. Then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of thyme, and you want to mix that all up. Get it all incorporated. Then you want to add the rest of your garlic base and your dehydrated onions get them cooked through and we'll let it cook until it comes to a simmer to make sure it's heated through Peas are one vegetable you do not want to overcook, so we're adding them near the very end of the dish. I'm going to add probably half the bag because I love peas so much, but you can add as little as much as you would like. I know some people probably don't even like peas because they're green. And if this dish couldn't get any better, I'm going to kick it up a notch and add some borzen cheese to give it that cheese factor because you know we live on cheese around here. Then the pasta is ready, so we just need to drain it. And make sure you reserve that pasta water just in case your dish is not thick enough for you. And just like that, Supper is ready. Like, this meal comes together so quickly. If you have all your greens prepped and ready to go, and you have a starving husband and he's like wondering why I have to film this video for you, well, he got over it. Just wait and see. Do you need a spoon? Very good. Make this saucy. You like it better than the capasa? Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so very much for watching. And if you made it this far into the video, I'm sure you're loving the content of this channel. 
May I suggest you watching this next? Remember, God gave you a great day. Now go do something great with it.